Uh, let us now move to another topic. Let us first discuss the right to self-organization. The, the right to self-organization is the entitlement given to employees to form, join, or assist in the formation of a labor organization or union or any other association for purposes not contrary to law. What are the implications of the right to self-organization? Well, the right to self-organization carries with it the right to abstain from joining a union. It carries with it the right to choose which union they would join. It carries the right to resign from the union. But the right to abstain from joining a union, as well as the right to resign from the union or to choose which union to join, cannot be exercised when the contracting union and the employer have agreed on a union security arrangement. What exactly is a union security agreement? One time, I asked the recitation, to, Mr. So-and-so, what is a union security agreement? Sabi ni uh, student, Sir, union security is security of the union. Well, the answer may seem funny, but it is correct. Union security is intended to secure the union. How? Uh, but let us first discuss what a union security agreement is. Well, a union security agreement is a stipulation in a CBA which uh, requires employees covered by the collective bargaining unit to join the union. Uh, yung union dito, yung contracting union, uh, yung may CBA, certified bargaining agent. And maintain their union membership in good standing as a condition for continued employment. So as, as I was telling you, union security is security of the union. Bakit kailangan is securing union? Because without a union security agreement, that is why in almost, in all CBA, lagging may union security provision yan. So bakit kailangan is secure yung union? Kailangan yun because if there is no union security agreement, the union may die a natural death. How? Eh, kung mag-alisan yung mga member nila, maubusan siya ng member, wala na, the union dies a natural death. Now, so, paano naman ma-ano yan? Yung, so, uh, paano naman ma-secure yung union by the union security agreement? Remember that the union security agreement requires employees to join the union and to maintain their membership in good standing as a condition for continued employment. So, the common types of union security agreements are we have closed shop, union shop, maintenance of membership shop. Closed shop. This is an agreement whereby the employer binds himself to hire members of the contracting union only who must maintain their union membership in good standing to keep their jobs. So, sa close job, uh, ang tatanggapin lang ng employer, yung union member. Mag-member ka muna bago kita tatanggapin as employee. That is closed shop. Union shop. In a union shop, the employer can hire non-members of the contracting union on condition that they should join the union within a specified period and maintain their union membership in good standing to keep their jobs. So, sa union shop, oh, sige, tatangkapin kita, but within 30 days, you join the union. Sa maintenance of membership naman, uh, the agreement is for the employee, employees who are already members of the union at the time of the signing of the CBA uh, to keep their membership in good standing during the lifetime of the CBA to uh, keep their jobs. Now, so, you will notice that in this uh, uh, union security agreements, lagi may kabuntot yan, ha? To maintain their membership in good standing as a condition for their employment. So, what is the effect of a, a union security agreement? If there is a union security agreement, the employees covered by the bargaining unit must join the union and maintain their membership in good standing to retain their employment. 
Now, does it mean that the, the union is forever tied up with the union? The answer is no. The union member can resign from the union only during the freedom period. So, paano kung nag-resign sila before the freedom period? Well, they will be dismissed. Pwede sila tanggalin. Employees who refuse to join the union or fail to maintain their membership in good standing will be subject to dismissal even if they may not be aware of the union security agreement. If there is a union member who fails to maintain his membership in good standing, the procedure is for the union to recommend or request the employer to dismiss the union member from his employment. If there is a request from the union, the employer should not outrightly dismiss the union member. The employer must observe due process. And uh, a dismissal should be effected only when warranted by evidence. Suppose the employer does not observe due process. The effect would be the employer will be held uh, liable for nominal damages in the event that the dismissal is found to be valid. The authority to dismiss must be expressly stipulated. Now, this is exemplified by the case of uh, Anakan Lumber. In this case, the CBA between the union and the company contains a provision entitled closed shop. Uh, the wording of the closed shop states that the company agrees to employ only such persons who are members of the union, period. The company agrees to employ only persons who are members of the union, period. Now, later, several members of the union joined a rival union. The contracting union uh, expelled the said employees. The union now, the contracting union now, requested the management to dismiss the union members who joined the rival union. Now, the issue here is, was the company bound to dismiss the employees who joined the rival union? In short, can the union, can the contracting union, invoke the closed shop provision of the CBA to uh, dismiss the employees who join the rival union. The Supreme Court ruled that no, the company was not bound to dismiss the said members. Why is that so? Because membership with the contracting union was not made a condition for continued employment. Remember that the CBA provision uh, merely required workers hired by the company to be members of the Union at the time of hiring. Wala yung buntot na sinasabi natin must maintain their membership in good standing as a condition for employment. Wala yun. Pasan na doon CBA. Oh, uh, the company agrees to hire members uh, of the union uh, at the time of hiring. Period. Wala yung buntot. Huh? Now, since the CBA provision does not provide that an employee must continue to remain members in good standing to keep their jobs, the CBA does not establish a closed shop. And therefore, the company was not under obligation to dismiss the workers who resigned from the contracting union. Are union security agreements valid? The answer is yes, because it is authorized by Article 259E of the Labor Code. But union security agreements is not uh, an absolute thing. There are certain limitations on uh, the applicability of union security agreements. First of which is that uh, union security agreements cannot be enforced against employees who are already members of another union at the time of the signing of the CBA. Union security agreements like closed job cannot be imposed against employees who are already members of another union at the time of the signing of the CBA. Second limitation, union security agreements cannot be enforced against employees who, are, who were refused admission by the union itself without valid reason. A third limitation is that union security agreements cannot be enforced against employees who are members of religious uh, sects which prohibit their members from joining a union. Limbawa, uh, yung, uh, you may, as you already know, yung Iglesia ni Cristo, yung mga members ni Iglesia ni Cristo, bawal yata ako gunyo sa kanila. Uh, so, if a member of Iglesia ni Cristo refuses to join the union, said employee cannot be validly dismissed 
even if there is a closed shop agreement because their right to religion is uh, higher than contractual rights.